right, just scallywags. No more lollyganging around. It's time to art. Ahoy, class. Welcome aboard the USS Corona, our ship and portable classroom for the foreseeable future. I am coming to you from mythically in my head outside of the Bermuda Triangle. As always, I am your captain, and for the duration of this voyage, your enrichment coordinator. So, today, it is always, the sun is always shining on board the USS Corona, and so it is always a good day to art. We're going to start the day as we do every day, and that is to do a daily doodle. So go ahead and grab a pencil and a piece of paper and get started. So, while you're grabbing those, I'm going to wait with class icon, always and ever present, the lovely Bob Ross. Do you have your stuff yet? Do you? Do you? Excellent. So, today, what I want you to do is to draw the coronavirus. That's right. I'm asking you to give me what you, Hopkins art student, thinks the coronavirus looks like. Now, I do not want you to go to, you know, the news site, any news site, and find a microscopic drawing of it or photograph. No, I want you to tell me what you think it looks like. Is it spiky? Green? Covered in purple slime? Covered in blue fur? I don't know. You tell me. Maybe it has furry pink bathroom slippers with little bunny ears. I bet it does. Anyway, I want you today to draw the picture that you think the coronavirus looks like and to go ahead and upload it to our Google Classroom when you are finished. Uh, in the future, I'm hoping to have some alternative platform where we can all see uh, our work and interact with it. But for now, we're going to do that. So there will be a spot under your assignment list where you can go ahead and post it. So I'm going to sit here and wait for Bob, with Bob Ross and go ahead and pause the video while you draw. This time, you're under no time constraints. You can color it. You can do whatever you want. You can scribble out like we usually do in about five to ten minutes, right? So that is up to you. When you get back, I'm going to give you instructions and the materials list that you're going to need for today's assignment. Pause and see you soon. And we're back. All right, today, our first assignment, we are going to pick up doing some drawing. Now, this was what we were going to do uh, right about the time we got out of school. And of course, as you guys know, I started the voyage a little sooner and was out last week because I was sick, but I am feeling much better and I am ready to rock and roll. So we're going to today start with drawing some simple 3D shapes. Uh, we talked about this briefly when we did the elements of art uh, the last couple weeks uh, for my middle school classes. And so we did maybe a preliminary sketch, and I've got those on your um, elements of art cubes. But now we're going to really learn how to do it and also think about our light source as we're doing this and how light can help us create 3D shapes. So what I need you guys to do, with the permission of your parents or who's ever at home, I want you to go and raid your kitchen. That's right, we're looking for some canned goods. Now, I've got a couple laying around here. You might wanna grab a couple. Maybe you've got some things of different sizes. Um, I've got some, ooh, that's fun. The label's green off to turn it. So I've got some canned corn here, shorter, shorter label. Uh, maybe some good old fashioned tomato paste. I've got cream of mushroom soup with the label taken off. Also, this lovely, uh thing of clams which i happen to notice earlier expired january 2017 it's been in there a while whatever you got laying around that's fine think about other things you don't have any canned goods i've got some ribbon laying on my desk um thing of tape 
that's a nice cylinder shape. What about, for me, the omnipresent mug? Whatever you've got that's cylinder shaped, that's great. Go ahead and grab that now. So again, Bob Ross and I are going to hang out while you go gather that. And of course, you're going to need some regular old paper. Uh, I'm using copier paper. And then you're also going to need your pencil, right? And possibly an eraser. So go ahead and gather those things right now. And when you come back, I'm going to have reoriented the screen into a precarious state where I will attempt to record my desk. All right, you've got your mission, go.